Let's make something different today for breakfast. Well, at least one of the ingredients is uh, is different. I'm uh, boiling water right here. We're just going to drop in some of these little fingerling potatoes and uh, just uh, let them boil. Uh, let's go with three strips. These are nice and thick. It's been a while since I've done a cooking uh, segment. <clears throat> I guess it's just part of that uh, creative uh, low I've been in recently but uh i think the worst is over anyway the potatoes are uh they're finished uh i've let them cool uh so i can handle them and uh, we're just gonna chop up uh some onion real finely chopped that's good right there use a lot of onion on this onion onion is essential here some good shredded cheese one egg salt not too much i want to make them uh, too salty you can always add salt but you can't really remove salt a little bit of olive oil. Just some simple black pepper. I wished I had uh, cilantro or uh, green onion, but uh, we're going to use a little bit of oregano. Just to give it a little kick. And that's it right there. You're going to take your hand and you're just going to mash everything together. Just mash it up. I'm going to place this on the grill on the uh, black stone on low heat. I'm going to develop a little crust on the outside. And, uh, cook the onion just uh just fantastic i hope we'll see first time making this so don't judge me too hard that's all you need right there kind of a mess it's all right good food is supposed to be a little messy right a little bit of olive oil And just put them right in. Get some heat on the onion and get a little crust on the outside. Melt that cheese in there. Let the magic happen right here. Don't be in a rush here with the hash brown casserole. We're going to call it that. Just going to do a little uh, zucchini. Just use some of the olive oil that's in the corner there. It's very simple. And uh, let's try to let's try to turn this thing. I think, what do you guys think? What's the best way to turn it? I think we need to cut it to turn it. So let's, uh, let's cut it like in uh, fours. Let's go like this. And then like this. And hopefully it won't stick. 
and let's see what happens if we try to turn this hopefully there's a nice little crust on it oh yeah oh yeah oh fantastic fantastic very nice very nice we'll take that just keep it on low heat look at that crust oh man that's nice Here's that bacon that we had before that we cooked. Let's warm it up. And uh, let's let the magic happen. Let's come back in about, uh, oh, about two minutes. Let's get the final item going here. Some eggs. I think two eggs is good. Man, that looks so good right there. Hope it tastes as good as it looks. Things usually do. I think I want my eggs right on the hash browns. Proof's in the pudding. Let's see how it tastes. So simple. So delicate. Well, I already know the bacon's going to taste good. Let's see what this looks like right here. First with nothing. I just want to taste it. The hash brown casserole just, just by itself. Now let's see with a little of that egg yolk from those over easy eggs. Probably a game changer. Look at that right there. Gosh. Mmm. Oh man. Oh man. That egg just changes everything. Another nice quiet morning. In Madera Canyon in Green Valley, Arizona, headed northbound. Good morning. Doing a uh, little hike this morning. Uh, just right from where we're camped in uh, Green Valley. It's called the uh, Madera Canyon Nature Trail. Just beautiful, just easy. Pretty much anybody can do this. It's, uh, I think it's about six miles. Um, just warm. I'm enjoying the warmth. It's uh, it's been cold. I've been like slightly cold for three months, you know. And uh, today, you know, I'm finally, you know, wearing shorts and t-shirt, and I'm hot. It's wonderful. Feels great. But check this out. It's a beautiful trail. Look at that. I don't know if you can make out the snow up there. I mean, we're not really sure, but I think we're just about maybe 40, 50 miles tops from the Mexican border, maybe less as the crow flies. And uh, just the unprecedented amount of snow this year in this region. Sort of glad that the snow in the Sierra Nevadas made me come down here because it feels good. It's starting to feel right. You know, having to deviate because of the snow. It's uh, starting to feel good again. So hopefully this is uh, the beginning of getting out of the slump that I've been in pretty much ever since I left Baja. But, uh, can't ask for a better day. It's 80, sunny and dry. Once in a while I come across people who ask me, you know, what's, what's your favorite state? What's your favorite area? I think I've come to the conclusion that it depends what time of year. 
I would have to say that it's Arizona in March and April. Utah, May and June, and Colorado in July. It's hard to choose between those three areas. I just, I mean, Colorado in June and July, oh my gosh, just unbelievable. Arizona, when everywhere is cold and miserable in March and April, you know, it's just phenomenal. It's, it's just, you don't want to leave. And then Utah, you know, when it finally gets warmer in May and June, just phenomenal. Those red rocks, it's unbelievable. So yeah, that's, that's kind of what I tell them. I think I've come to that conclusion. I wasn't sure for a long time. I just like each state differently, each area. And I realize it's because of the, the time of year. <laughs>